right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, presenting the challenger, the Giant. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib. Championship. If you give me instructions in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Separation. 
Magomedov gets caught with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. I mean, he's cutting you down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Well, you can feel that freeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Nermago Meadow. That'll work nicely left. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nermago Meadow. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with the blink. It's a nice back and forth action here. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nervato Meta. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Good stick. Almost in range with the straight left, but oh, that's a miss. Actually got the takedown. Oh, oh, this oh. might just be a matter of time. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Just over two minutes to go. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Nice punch by Nermago Medov. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Oh, you saw the tail of the tape, he has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, that hurts to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, really causing a lot of damage to those legs of his opponent. Yeah, he's doing a great job of landing leg kicks for the opponent. He needs to start trying to relax. Relaxation allows you to check kicks. If you're tense, if you're biting on feints, if you're biting on the guy just throwing jabs at your head, you're not going to check kicks. Relax. Stay comfortable. Recognize what's coming in your direction. Liver kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, straight right. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Misses with the right hand. Round two straight ahead. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed 
that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Navago Meta. that left hand. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Medoff. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Numago Medoff. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. He just misses there with the left. Nice strike. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper Let's go. Set up that takedown. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch there. Let's go. Look for that takedown. Oh, huge block. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. There, huge block for him. Nice right hand. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right hand lands upstairs. Score that Collar tie. Just unable to quite find that range. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice. him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Nermago Medoff. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Nice punch by Nurmagomeda. Slips. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Try to establish that jab. his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion, and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the...